Why, hello, peasants. Your emperor here. Obviously admiring the, the build. Well, look, we started on the bridge. Um, the, the cobble's kind of in, but we're just starting to add detail to it. So we, we've got the bridge now being built. Kind of, kind of classic Roman straight shape. Although we probably need to put an edge at the top, which we can do later. It's going to go over there. Probably going to build our, our barracks for invasion, obviously. Um, we've already seen this build. No. And we're going to walk up here. We finished the build up here at last. Um, you can see a build in there. We'll go to that one in a second. Uh, so the enchanting table room build is now completed. Yeah, I'm quite liking it. We've, we've got the right kind of textures in here now. So that's looking fabulous for me. Because we have more detail in. We've got these cool little banners now. This is the um, my symbol. You see this at your base? <laughs> I've selected it. <laughs> Um, and we can get a fully enchant here, although that's doing my head in not having a bookcase there, but we'll, we'll, we'll get that sorted out. Um, we'll come back to that in a minute. But here's the new build. This is going to be the, the new villa that we're, we're building. This is only stage one of the build at the moment. Um, as you can see, we're now going for the white concrete. Uh, and we're settling for the bone blocks just to give it a bit of a, an aged look. As you can see, we haven't done it all over the place. But I do have to discuss the, the sand bricks here, which is something else we were we were initially trying. So this is slowly being replaced um, after some consultation with one of my friends from Athos, actually, on this one. Um, th this just comes across too much. It's just too much. It's, it's not working with this build. So we are now subtly replacing it with bone blocks, which is something we, we need to get hold of. But I think that looks a lot better than that. And uh, obviously the banners really do make it quite nice. So in here, we also got the main entrance hallway into the first two rooms. In here, um, we're going to have a bunch of villagers running around in here. So this will eventually be for um, the villagers we got trapped down below. My, my plan is to have is this kind of like a, a, a living village. So I need entities running around. I need farmers and... Goodness, what else? You know, I need I need peasants to to be under my control, don't I? I ain't gonna be any of the, the broke rockers. I think they're gonna fiercely contest me trying to take over. Although down there, there's a, the hell DC from Mike Crafted. Yes, so um, I think he swore his allegiance. <laughs> I think we can leave him alone. And obviously Kai, we're gonna have to leave alone. We've we've gone into business with Kai, um, with our shop. So I'm gonna go to the shopping district very quickly. Uh, and still the shop and then we'll, we'll take it from there shall we here we are in the shopping district um still got the wool shop and the mushroom over there is is basically full of armor but without spoilers over there hopefully <laughs> kind of interesting seeing what's being built uh this is our new shop it's the um obviously can you can you guess what we sell <laughs> I particularly like the mushrooms I've done. I think they're, they're quite cool. So yeah, me and Kai opened this up the other day. Um, and basically we have, for some reason, no green in there at the moment. But we're selling normal terracotta. We're going to sell some glaze and we're going to sell some colors, uh, which we're lacking at the moment. And we've got some red and we've got quite a lot of orange. Yeah, a lot of orange now that. And yellow, we ain't got any pink yet, although pink is not marking on myself, and some brown. So we haven't sold anything. I expect to. We kept it as open roof for the minute, and obviously we've got a little bit of supply there, and obviously can't be a shop without an ender chest. So yeah, this is um, looking quite cool. Uh, it's quite tall, but then it's meant to represent a, a mesa spike, isn't it? So that's why. So we're hoping to make some money from this. We do fit nicely into the fact now that the brokers are going to have a um, a stream day. Uh, ooh, shulker shells and stuff. Um, shulker shells? I make scope blocks. Uh, we are going to have a stream day coming up on Saturday the 19th of November. And if I've done this right, there should be a nice little thing in the top corner. At the moment, those are the planned streams. Um, you might notice my name's not on there. Unfortunately, 
I only get four megabyte upload speeds <laughs> where I live. So I don't stream very often and being a Saturday, it's gonna be virtually impossible to with family. But I promise I'm still gonna be around that day probably and, and cause some, some mayhem. Perhaps, we never know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, yeah, come in and support the other guys. Obviously all their channels will be linked in the description below. Ah, it's slowly coming on, isn't it? All green, and obviously, Shimoko's base there. Uh, no spoilers, don't worry, he has shown this off in a video. So let's go back to my lands, and um, see what we're gonna do next. Ah, deep underground, here we are. Right, we have been um, getting paper for our, um, our villages. We've got a really small sugar cane palm here. This was just a concept, to be honest. It's not meant to produce very much. In fact, it doesn't really produce a lot at all. So we'll probably get rid of this. And, and we're going to make a bigger version of it anyway. Um, as we start making our little chambers down. We've got a bigger one back here. So I might build the a bigger sugar cane here. And we finally got the dripstone to, to build. We had to go one, two, three, four blocks down as that started working. So good, we have our little bin in the way. This is a little concrete area because obviously we're starting to make concrete now. Although we are struggling with bone meal at the moment, but um, I've had a little, I spoke to Dara really nicely and I think we can come to some mutual agreement on a skelly farm because I don't have a skelly farm and, and Dara has a skelly farm. So um, she's kind of um, said I could help with it, but I will, we will pay for the service. I'm not a, a ruler that's just, just going to just take stuff, you know. I, I will pay for services, or will be at a cheap price, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've been making um, paper and getting books because within Brook Rock, we can actually smelt down. There we go, some books. We can smelt down um, rotten flesh to make leather. So you can see I've got some leather. I've got a small furniture array going on here. Um, so that is helping a considerable amount at the moment. And um, that is going good. So we're going to go up here to where all the villagers live at the moment. We will be expanding the villagers, but we've got to be careful not to make it an accidental iron farm. Because I really don't want one of them at the moment. And look, because of my cured ones. So one book for one emerald. So villager number one and villager number two. Uh, of course, people know the reference that probably comes from. <laughs> uh, and then we got these guys. So these guys are trading me the bricks, so we don't have to keep making them all the time. So this is the next build we're going to do today. It's going to be a little small build here. And I've got a reference picture to work with. Um, let's build it, let's compare it, and um, let's see what we think. So throw the time lapse. There you go what do you think and this is the the build uh pretty much now completed we go down here we got a our, our, our first floor and then our ground floor we're gonna add some the windows in we're gonna need to add some kind of like um shutters i think we'll, we'll probably use trap doors for that um we need to do the floor obviously we haven't done the insides but on the outsides 
Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we could do some more detail on, on the on the on the face of things, which we will do. Um, and we'll, we'll get that worked on too. Not too sure about the bits on top of the roof here. I'll probably take that away. Um, with a little picture in the corner there. Um, I was trying to get that sense of raised up the top, so it may it doesn't kind of work at this kind of low level. I must say low level, small build. I think it was a bigger build, like nearly twice the size. It will probably work because getting detail in. We still got that build to do. You can see all that here. Um, we do have to go to the end. We do have to go to the end. At some point, we're going to need, we need shulkers. We definitely need shulker boxes. Um, so that could be a fun next video. But one thing I want to do before we shut down today is see if we've got enough name tags in our little storage down here. Well, we got we got one. So, um, let's name one of our doggies. We're going to name it Mariva. There we go. Oh, this one here, look. There you go. Mariva. And then the other two will be named in the next episode. Hello. <laughs> uh, we're going to go for Venus and, and Juno. I think it's the next two dogs. So Mariva, Venus, and Juno. That, 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 that's. I like those dog names. So that's where I'm going to end the video. I'm going to end it right here and then say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video today. Um, I will try and get some more out it, probably in December. I did promise a little bit more in November, but I've, I've, I need to take a little bit of a break just on and off. Although, stick around for the stream on the 19th. I'm sure I'll be um, check the others out. Um, I'll repost the um, times at the end of this video. Um, and I look forward to seeing you all. So, bye-bye.